Hello class. My name is Michael Elms and I'll be your instructor this semester. The purpose of this video is to help you get started with MAT 240. So at the top of your screen, if you're in a different area or in a different window, you can always click the heading and you'll be taken back to our home screen. I'd suggest you click the Getting Started tile. Inside this folder, of course, you'll find our course syllabus. Uh, you'll see the roadmap. If for some reason your, your cookies will not allow this roadmap to open, you can click for the text-only version of the roadmap. Uh, you can read about StatCrunch. Uh, this is software that's going to handle most of the heavy calculations. Uh, many of my students like to begin the course by doing the calculations by hand. However, StackCrunch can really save you a, a tremendous amount of time, especially when you're taking your final exam. So, so I would highly recommend that you become comfortable and familiar with StackCrunch. Then there's the Begin the Course icon that will help you get started with the course. Uh, I'm going to click the heading again to go back to our home screen. And you'll see the learning path and diagnostic, right? So we'll click here. And what's nice about this course, the accelerated course, is uh, you're going to take a diagnostics exam. And that's going to determine how much you do or don't know. Um, and, and with the thought being, well, we don't want to really test you too much on the things that you do know. Uh, we really want to work on the things that you don't know. Uh, so depending upon how much you know, uh, you could get credit for, for things that you've mastered, uh, uh, areas and statistics that you are quite comfortable and can show mastery level. So you'll type the diagnostics exam, and then that will determine how much you have to do between now and the final exam. Uh, so this will tell you how to use StatCrunch for the diagnostic exam, uh, the learning path, um, and the diagnostic assessment. And then this will really tell you how to navigate the learning path. So I would really go through each of these links one at a time and really take your time while going through the links. This could save you time in the long run. Next, uh, you'll see the icon for StatCrunch. And again, this software is going to be invaluable to you. Uh, I'm going to provide plenty of supplemental videos that will help you. And most of those videos will show you how to use StatCrunch to answer questions. Oops, let's go back to the home menu. Uh, and then the next thing I'm going to have you do before you really begin is the course kickoff. Um, this is where you're going to set goals, right? Do you want to finish the course in three weeks, in four weeks, or are you going to take the full eight weeks? Um, so you're going to download the course kickoff document and then complete the document, upload and send to me, and I can review your document to help ensure that you stay on task. The, the course kickoff document looks like this, and I'd like you to type in your answers where it says, type in your answer, right? So I'm just typing random words here, or letters, but they're, they're questions, right? There's a 28-question final exam. How do you plan to prepare for this exam? You could type your response here. Um, and then the time. There's nine units and the final exam. Uh, which week do you plan to complete each task, right? Maybe you want to complete units one and two during week one. Uh, and then, uh, oops, you might want to complete units three, four, and five during week two. I'm just making up random times and weeks here. Um, and, and, you know, with the goal of maybe trying to finish by week four or week five. Some of you might say, maybe I'll do one unit a week, and at the end I'll do two units uh, so I can finish the final exam by week eight. And that's per perfectly acceptable. Only you know what your schedule is like and how much you can accomplish uh, each week. And of course, we can always go back and revisit this. Uh, maybe after week one, you finish the first four units. Well, maybe you, you would rework um, when you think you might finish your final exam. Uh, then there's another question and answer here. And one more question here, right? What obstacles might get in your way? Uh, who knows, maybe you have a heavy work schedule, uh, strong family commitments. Uh, there, there are many obstacles that, that you know, might um, slow your progress. And then maybe you can think about strategies you can use to, to overcome these obstacles. Uh, once you complete this document, again, I'd like you to save it to your desktop and then upload to me because uh, I'll keep a copy of that and I will try to help you uh, stay on schedule. 
I'll go back to the home menu. And so we'll have completed the first four uh, tiles. And at this point, you would want to actually start your learning path. All right, so you go back to this tile, begin your learning path. Once you've completed all nine um, units, you'll take your final exam. You'll have two attempts to take your final exam. I take the greater of your two scores. Okay, I hope that helps. I look forward to working with you. Let's have a great semester.